What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today is Wednesday. I am very sick, um, so I apologize if anything sounds bad on my end, uh, voice-wise. This is not going to be a normal video for me. This is going to be an open platform for you guys to let me know your opinions down in the comment section about this topic. Before I begin, I am going to let you guys know that I have some notes on my phone that I'm going to be looking at. So if there's any awkward cuts where I am staring at my phone and then this is because I kind of wanted to be prepared for this video. Um, we are going to discuss about uh, scalpers, scalping, scalper mentality here in the toy community because I posted a little question earlier on the Pins Pack Facebook group about what is the most controversial topic in the toy community right now. Um, or in general, and scalper or scalping was one of the main ones. So before we get started, if you guys are new to my channel, if this is the first video of mine you've watched, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Typically, this is more live stream and toy hunting videos, um, but I, I wanted to to open this up and allow everybody to, I don't know, express their feelings, um, express their opinions in a very civil matter, so please don't get crazy down in the comments as much as possible plus I just wanted to give my opinion on what I thought about the subject so first off the definition of a scalper now per dictionary.com outside of the the Indian term um, a scalper started with like tick ticket scalping um, but outside of that this is toy community um, but it is it is to re resell merchandise at a higher price than the official rates so let's just get that out there that's the dictionary.com uh, definition now to me that pretty much means if you if you buy something that's twenty dollars and you sell it for twenty one dollars that's scalping because it's more than the official rate so the question that I want to ask you guys is what do you think a scalper is and what in your mind is a scalper is it someone who is is going to buy a Marvel Legend to sell for double the price today so for instance, if you go to your Walgreens and you buy Mystique, which is a hot commodity right now, and then you turn around and as you're walking out the store, you sell it for X amount of dollars above retail price. Or is a scalper someone who buys, well for instance, Mythic Legions. I got like 15 of them in from Big Dub today, so shout out to you brother. This. This was probably a $30 item, straight from Four Horsemen, maybe $35, I don't know, because I wasn't collecting when these came out, when this figure came out. Um, on Big Bad Toy Store, they're $49.99. Now, is Big Bad Toy Store, are they scalping because it is higher than the retail price? Or is it because it's an extremely limited item? Now, if you are not familiar with Mythic Legions, um, they're made by Four Horsemen. They are very very limited honestly I think they only make what people pre-order plus a small batch to sell afterwards uh, I don't know offhand how much this figure goes for but I know for sure he is over a $100 figure right now now if you collect these and you know the market price on them um, if, if you buy from someone and they they charge you $100 typically in your head that's not a scalper mentality or that's not a scalper because that's what this figure is going for but this figure is no longer available at retail, so that person may be getting out of Mythic Legions who sold this figure to you for $100 and they're going by market value. Um, because chances are they did not just buy this yesterday for $100 and they're selling it for $100. I highly doubt that that would happen. Another quick example I would give on that is if someone is selling their entire collection that they've had for five years and they're going by current market value, is that a, a scalper? because probably most of the stuff in their collection you can no longer buy at retail. So please let me know your opinions on that down in the comments. The big thing that I wanted to address in this video, and this is completely 100% my opinion, I am not for scalping, I am not against scalping, I am just right down the middle because this video is not for me to throw all of my opinions and try to sway you guys one way or another. Once again, it's for you guys to decide down in the comments below. Assuming that someone is a scalper that you see in person. Now online, it's it's harder to tell because you don't really know what's happening in the moment and you can see that person, you can see the comments, you can see everything in front of you. So being a part of these Facebook groups here in the past couple of years, um, I've noticed a trend that honestly I'm not a fan of and that is Assuming that someone is a scalper when they see something happen. So, 
example what I mean by that is what's a hype figure um the the NECA turtles the the target two-pack turtle whatever you want however you want to call them Jesus the the, the NECA two-pack target exclusives the animated series um let's just say you you walk into a store and your first thing is to go straight to the NECA section to get these figures all four packs or whatever and as you get up there you see someone with a cart and they're putting the sets into their cart now, let's say this person buys two sets of turtles, so eight packs total. Put it in their cart, they go away, you don't talk to them, you don't really see them, you just see what the, the process that is happening. You, you don't even know their name is, you've never seen them before. And then once they go away, you see that the shelves are empty. And then the first thing that someone does is, is go to Facebook, go to social media, and just, oh, this scalper just bought two sets right in front of me, why would they need that? You know, this is crazy, I drove all the way up here, and now I can't get them because someone had to buy two, like, this just isn't fair, you know, whatever. Once again, you can completely do that. Like, that is your right to do that. <clears throat> it's your opinion, it's your feelings, whatever. But to me, look at it from the flip side. What if that person just bought a set for their friend that doesn't have a target nearby? Maybe their target is two hours away, and they don't have the time to do that. What about if this person got it for their brother for a birthday present? I mean, there are just plenty of things that someone can be doing besides instantly flipping those. Now, once again, I'm saying this as if you don't know that person. Now, if you saw someone that runs a flea market booth and they bought a whole shelf, like four or five, six sets of these turtles, and then you go to the flea market this weekend and you see them for $100 a pack, there, that's fine. That, that to me would be no bueno. But there has been multiple times where someone has purchased a figure for me that just got released. And who knows, they could have been defined as a scalper because they might have got one for me, one for their friend, and one for them. So that's three figures that person behind them doesn't think that they need. So to me, just if anyone learns anything or if anyone gets anything from this video, all I want is for people to stop throwing around the word scalper so easily i mean everybody is a scalper you you buy a 30 dollars figure six months down the road you sell it for 100 you're a scalper well i mean who's to say that that's not scalping because you can't buy this anymore so that's just me i, I just hate people assuming so much because and i mean and honestly at the end of the day we're, not, we're really not getting a lot out of it by going to social media and bashing that person that we have no idea about Another quick question I want to ask you guys is when is it appropriate to sell at market value? Because once a figure is not available in retail stores anymore, to me, that's when I think the market value is in fair game. I mean, there's plenty of things that I have sold behind me that are one, two, three years old that no retail stores have. Do I go by eBay prices? No, I'm typically way below eBay because I want to help people out, but also I, I do build this collection off of selling figures. So anytime you guys see me buy figures, it's 90% chance that it's from uh, money that I've sold things from, or I've sold from out of my collection. I think that's how I'm trying to say it. Um, so I, I don't think that that's wrong. If that's how you fund your toy collection, because no one starts with this I mean it's it's hard for people nowadays to get it's hard for me to to maintain this so yeah I might sell a couple old like those all those mythic legions and seventh kingdom figures none of those are at retail price right now so if I wanted to sell a couple of those to to fund a trip like a convention trip that's what I'm going to do so nothing is coming out of my pocket so let me know what you think when is it fair for someone to sell a figure at market value Another big topic that I saw in the thread um, was someone who buys multiple figures at retail to trade them for higher value, if that makes sense. So you buy a $20 Legend, eBay says it's worth 50, you pay 20 for it, but you wanna trade it for 50. Is that a problem in your eyes? To me, if I bought something with two, two figures, I would probably just trade for whatever I paid for it as. Now, if the figure is two to three years old, obviously there again, market value that depicts the situation a whole, uh, a whole lot differently, I guess you could say. So to you, is that fair? Um, if, if someone buys two or three of one thing to sit on it to trade, is that cool? Is it not cool? 
I have no idea, just let me know. The last topic that we are going to get into, I didn't wanna make this a, a very long rant style video. I, ju I just wanted to get your guys' opinion because this topic seems to be a heavy hitter for a lot of people. Um, but people buying from scalpers, or I, I hate even using that word because we, we don't even know what is it. Because if you ask, which, which I am, the definition of a scalper, you're going to get a lot, no one's really going to agree on the same thing uh, heavily. It's going to be a lot of this or that, this or that. It's, no one's going to agree a lot. So, people buying from scalpers. Is it okay? Does it feed the, the market for it? Because I, I see a lot of people saying, well, if we stop buying from scalpers, then they'll stop it. I kind of disagree, but I kind of agree with that. I agree in the terms of, yes, if we do that, it's going it's going to take a long time for that to stop because people are still going to go at it. There's still going to be that small niche of people who still do it. On the other side of things, there's a lot of people who rely on it because not a lot of people, sadly, nowadays, um, will go and buy a $20 toy and sell it for $20 plus shipping to people, um, especially to a random person. Now, for your friends, for your family, that hopefully people people do i would assume um but there are a lot of people who don't have targets within two three four hours from them there are a lot of people who like canada for instance they have toys r us now and we don't so if if we want a toys r us exclusive figure you know with the sticker i know that they're shared release now differently through entertainment Earth and, but, but whatever let's just say you wanted the toys r us version sticker of it you will have to pay a price that they depict up there and then pay shipping to here so that's your i guess that that's that's what you want to do it's your money so if, if someone is okay with paying 40 dollars for a brand new marvel legend because it makes them happy or it gets them that high of getting a new figure right away i mean then so be it i mean it's their money it's it's their lifestyle that they're they're choosing is is that really someone's place to judge how someone spends their money based off of what they want to accomplish? So that, that to me, that's a very muddy subject uh, because I, I don't believe fully that if everyone stopped buying from scalpers, that that uh, community, that market would die. It would take a very long time to do that. Because I will fully admit that I have paid over retail for new figures um, multiple times that I did not think that I would be able to get um, locally or in general not even on like an online release so one very good uh, bit of information that I'd give to any new collector or anything like that would be be patient on my live streams I get a, a lot of questions you know what's your tips for a new collector new hunter uh, just be patient because there were times where I paid forty fifty dollars for a exclusive black series like i for one remember the it was like after the force awakens came out it was the toys r us exclusive first order uh snow trooper the officer like the one with the pauldron i remember when those started hitting i i think i paid like 40 dollars for that figure because i because my toys r us was like 45 minutes away and i i'm just not able to drive there well it was 45 minutes away just not able to drive there frequently to check. So, I paid. Did I like paying it? Not really, because it was, I mean, $45 for a figure, cool. Uh, but lo and behold, a couple months down the road, they were everywhere on the pegs for me. Same with the hover tank pilot. Uh, they were exclusive on Black, or on um, Force Friday. I remember that's when they first came out and each store only got like a case and everyone thought that it was gonna be super hard to find. And I remember going to Toys R Us where I knew they were going to have them and I made sure I was one of the first in line. Boom. A store up in Columbus had like 40 of them at one point. Um, so just be patient. So guys, that is going to be it uh, for this very short video. I just wanted to get that that little story, not story, but that little opinion of assuming people are uh, is a scalper or a scalper, however you say it. Um, I just, I, I want to get your guys' thoughts because honestly, like the the very few people that i talk to in person um i know their opinions on it i know what they think um, but hopefully this video gets out to people and you're very nice and courteous down in the comments and you say everything you need to say nicely and the only reason why i say that is because i don't want 
stuff going crazy down there. I mean, YouTube is crazy enough. Um, so let's keep it courteous, I guess we could say. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Um, if you watched it to this far in the video, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for sitting through all that talk. Um, but I am going to Atlanta this weekend um, for Toy Atlanta, duh. So if you watched this far in the video, let me know what your next toy convention or toy show is down in the comments below. That way I know you watched until this far. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, live stream will be this weekend for sure. Uh, I'll be with probably quite a few people, I would assume. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream. I love you so flippin' much. And as always, may the figs be with you.